Okay, welcome again to this training video. The next item uh, on the list will actually be printing and changing this uh, for this print layout to be landscape, if it wasn't already. They ask us to save this data model, which we have done already and added. Uh, we need to add the name, name center number, candidate number to the um, header. And this could be done basically by going to view, easiest way, page layout. And at the top, you will actually see the header. You can type the name, AE093 STD111. Okay. Next, they want us to actually print, and this is important, the spreadsheet into uh, print the um, formulas in the spreadsheet. First of all, to display the formulas, we need to go control the squiggly wiggly character which is next to the one above the tab key on your keyboard control on that will actually show you this if you do control and the same key again it will uh, hide it so you can toggle between showing the values and uh, the formulas and not showing the formulas in that way okay the other thing here uh, that it says make sure that all the contents of cells are visible and then the printout is one page wide well I can already see that it's not visible there so I'm gonna go between A and B double click between C and D and double click to ensure that all the data is actually visible. Between D and E and double click, there might be some more. I ensure that all the calculations, all the formulas, all the functions are very clear, clearly displayed. Again, there you see. Okay, now for the printing, if I go file, just so I tell you what they're asking for, file print is going to be six pages and I don't have all the data by wide. We're not worried about the length or the height. It's the width that, in the la that is the landscape. To fix this, it could be fixed under page layout. And with the page setup, I can go to, you see this little arrow there, the extension. And it pops up the page, the, the page setup that you're probably familiar with. And in the page setup, I have something called fit two. And I need it to be one page wide, and it doesn't have to be one tall. It could be two, three, whatever. If you put more than what it is, it's not going to extend it, OK? So if you put three or four or five or six, whatever it is, it will give the maximum within that six. Okay, click OK now. I click File and Print. Watch what's gonna happen. It shrunk the width of it, but the length went over two pages, and this is what the examiners want. This is what the question paper is asking for. I've got to make sure everything is visible there, everything is visible there, and everything is visible there. Okay, where all the functions and the formulas have been used. Uh, print that one and you're fine, and remember, my name in this case is up there, so you can actually print, and both of them will be, um, it'll be on both pages. Okay? I'm gonna go back to my page layout and cancel this, because I don't need it to be there all the time. I will cancel this, adjust back to 100%, normal size, and I will hide the formulas to go back to my normal view. So this was question 14. The next question will be a continuation of this. Go back to your page orientation and make it portrait. That's the next question. Save the data model and print a copy of the sheet showing the values. So first, over there, in the other one, we printed the uh, formulas. Now I gotta print the, the actual data. And if it's in uh, portrait, I have to make sure, again, that it fits on one page. So please double check this, like in there. You see, there's a lot more, there were data outside on the second page, which is not needed. To double check this on print preview, I go file, print, and it's two pages, which is fine. The data runs over two pages, and that is okay. It's imported, so I can't have this running into the next page. Okay. Next one. Uh, this is, the printing is done. Remember, all the past papers that I have seen, there is always two printouts. One which includes the formulae, and one which includes the actual data. Next question says, I'm gonna switch to a uh, normal view, just so I can hide this top, because this is, in this one, I could actually see also the edge of the page, which is there. Next question says, we can actually make this a bit smaller. Next question is, hide rows 1 to 14 inclusive. Inclusive means this. I select, place the mouse on 1, select all the way down to 14. Right click, hide. Data hidden or rows hidden. Next one says, interrogate the data to find all the items where the code is I. Well, this is... Well, this is what I was telling you about before, which is 
uh, filtering. And filtering happens under data. There is something called a filter. You click it, so data tab, the sort and filter group, the filtering button. And when you do this, you will have drop down arrows on each one of them. What do they want? Find all the items where the code is I. So I go to code, which is here, and I unselect all of the other ones and I select I. Okay, done, print that one. You print it as is. Remember, this is where I say it is very crucial crucial that you keep your name. If you put it in the header folder, it will always be there, so you don't have to worry about it. And as I said before, when you print out something, anything you print out that comes out of the printer must have your name on it. If your name is not there, you're not going to get the paper because the teachers have specific instruc instructions or the invigilators on the exam have specific instructions not to give any paper out if there is no name on it. So that's the next question. Now it goes back to say select all the data. Selecting all the data meaning click on code and select all because that is the only one that was there chosen. It says leave the rows 1 to 14 and column D hidden. That means some somewhere before I missed that one so I have to redo it because it said hide rows 1 to 14 inclusive and hide row uh, column D. So I'm going to go there like this to column D, right click and hide it. And I repeat the question and I will repeat that because I made the mistake and I might have printed it. And you go back and do it again. Okay, so you hide 1 to 14, you hide column D, which I missed, and then you interrogate the data, which is going there and just saying do this, print that out. So you don't need column D. Okay, print that. And then now I'm back to select all the data again. I go there and I say I need all of them. Click OK. Leave the rows 1 to 14 and column D hidden. They're still hidden. Hide column C now. I go there, right click, hide column C. Interrogate this data to find all the calls made on 4 1 2008. 4-1-2008, and we'll go there. I'm going to say January. 4 1 2008. I untick this, I untick that. This is 4 1 2008. Click OK. This is all the data for the date. And they want the decode is PU or SA. When I click on decode, I untick all of them and I do PU SA. OK. Print that. Next one. Done. OK. Now select from all the data. OK. Select from all the data the data for department and total duration from all the data, they haven't asked us to kind of go back and unselect, make sure, okay? Now they say select from all the data, the department and total duration, okay? Use this data to create a vertical bar chart from all the data. So I have to go back and sh display all the data, click okay. And on that, I click all the data like this. Now, I'm just going to um, take a break and I'll be back and continue this question. I need a breath again.